In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reinstall a previous version of the Hunter Call of the Wild. Why would we want to do that? Well, because there are some recent mods that do not work any longer with the current version. So we have to bring it back to a previous version in order for these mods to work. The first thing we got to do is we have to save the present game that you have just in case when you download the previous version and you want to go back and you don't like it for whatever reason and you want to remain with the same game that you have you won't lose it okay so you have to have a separate hard drive in your computer in order for you to do this okay so I have it here on this one I'm gonna click here and we're gonna create actually we're gonna do it right here we're gonna create a different folder which is gonna say present version okay we're going to open it up the next thing we're going to do is going to go to the steam right click on the hunter call of the wild local files browse and you want to drag these files into this separate partition here okay so when this finishes, we'll continue. So once we made a duplicate copy here, we're gonna go back to this PC, documents, and we're gonna take Avalanche Studios folders and we're gonna add it to here also, okay? So that way we have the game that we presently have, we have made a duplicate of it in the event, like I said, if you want to go back to how you had it, you don't like the new version, you messed up or something like that, or you did something wrong, you can, you know, bring it back to how you had it before and you will have no issues. We'll continue to the next. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to go to Google and you want to write down Steam DB info, which is going to take you to this page here. Then on the search bar here, you want to put the Hunter all the while. And you see it here, you're gonna click it. Now you're gonna to go to here where it says the DLCs. Now this lists all the DLCs that this game has had since the beginning of the game. Now we're looking for the one, let's see, we're trying to find out some dates here. Uh, Rancho La Royo came out in June 20, 2021. Uh, the next one came out was a Mississippi Acres, which I have no interest on that. Modern Rifle Pack, I don't have interest on that and anything after that. So we're going to just uh, write the number 629.21. And we're going to look for a download of a game around that time. So 629.2021. Okay, so that's June. So then we're going to go back here where it says Depots. We're going to look here this number where it says the main game I'm going to click it and we're going to go to manifest and here are all the downloads that you can do all the way to the beginning of this game if you want to know how this game was back six years ago you can download this number here and it'll, and it'll put the game back when, as it was six years ago but we're going to go all the way up here because we don't want to we don't want to go that far back and we're going to look for something in this uh, 2021 this one was June, like I said, so June, 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 here's June right here, June 21, here it is right here, this one, but we're not going to do this one, we're going to do the one, let's see, let's do the one for November, so it'll be July, August, September, November will be four months afterwards, right, so we'll do the one in November, now, this is the number that we're going to download, this is the a version that we're going to download, so now you can copy and paste this, but I'm all kind of old fashioned. So I'm just going to write it down. November was 644-0983463452558582. Let me repeat that number again. 644-0983463452558582. So this one's the one that we're going to download. So the next step, we're going to go back to Google. And up here, we're going to type Steam 
two dots slash slash nab slash console enter open steam a website wants to open this application open steam yes we want to open it now when you open it for the first time you're not going to see nothing of this the reason you see it on mine is because i already have downloaded different versions so it's going to populate here but on yours being the first time you're going to do it you're not going to see none of nothing of this written down okay so here in this line you're going to write down load and automatically it's going to show up it's going to say download depot it already comes with this space you're going to write the number 518790 space 518791 space then now you're going to put that long number that we wrote down I already copied it and pasted so i'm going to paste it now which is this one right here and then you're going to click enter and here you're going to see that the game is going to begin to download actually the, the program is going to download okay and it'll take about 15 minutes and i'm not going to hang around here about with for 15 minutes so i'll get back to you guys in 15 minutes from now and we'll continue okay so once you download it it's going to show down here it says depot download complete so you're going to go to your computer you're going to go to uh, your pc your c drive you're going to go to programs files times 86 you're going to go to the folder that says steam then you're going to go to where it says steam apps content this folder here and here where it says depot okay now this you're going to need now a different drive hard drive a separate hard drive in your computer because because you're going to be saving this okay so now you're going to go back here and you're going to create a file you're going to name it let's say you're going to name it uh name it november what was it november 2021 i'm going to put november 2021 you're going to open it here you're going to do control a in your computer you're going to transfer this from here to here to the, to the inside of the folder okay now you're going to go to your different hard drive like I have it on mine so I have it on this folder here and you're going to put this folder here inside here and wait until it goes complete so as you notice here, mines, I already have different versions that I have downloaded that I've been messing around with. So here's the November issue, which we just did right now. We're going to open it here. Now we're going to go to the Steam icon. And we're going to open the game. We're going to go here to the file. We're going to, we're going to do properties, local files, browse. And now we're going to be, uh, what we're going to do is, we're going to delete this. And we're going to transfer that once that we created from here to here. So we'll wait until that's finished. So once we have it, uh, download it here we're going to close this file we're going to close this we're going to actually already finish with this close everything down and now the next step is we're going to go to our where you have PC where you have documents and you're going to go to the Avalanche Studios folder and you're going to delete it okay and now we're going to start the game And we're supposed to have a brand new game the same way that it was back in November 2021. Now this is automatically is going to be creating a new Avalanche Studios folder. Hello. Skip.
game. We're gonna go to uh, Savannah map. And he's gonna begin again explaining, you know, welcome to the Savannah map, etc., etc., etc. So, so we'll come back again welcome to the game. Home. One thing that I want to bring out that is very important inside the Steam game, when you go to the folders, this here works with, in conjunction with the Avalanche Studios folder. In other words, <clears throat> if I delete this, which I'm going to do right now. Once I start the game, the game is going to create the Avalanche Studios folder again. But if you have an Avalanche Studios folder already created and you delete this part here, that Avalanche Studios folder is not going to work with the new version or the old version of the game or whatever version you have on. In other words, one has to be working with the L one. And the one that's going to create that Avalanche Studios folders that you need is going to be the programming, the game in itself. So one, again, once again, they both have to work together in combination, okay? So if I'm deleting this right now, Avalanche Studios folder, right? And I'm going to start the game again, close all this down. You'll see that the game is going to create a new Avalanche Studios folder. And it'll begin again without the Avalanche Studios as we deleted it now. It's going to begin again, you know, with the explanation of the game. The the boy, the guy, the person with the voice is going to start coming out again, and you'll see it. So everything begins like if it was from scratch. So we're going to delete this. here in one piece. Welcome to the untamed wild. Name's Colton Locke, but everyone calls me Doc. I'm the warden. And I'm going to go back to documents, and you see the Avalanche Studios folder here that was created again with all the information that works in combination with the, with the game itself, okay? works in combination with this. So once again, these two work together. So now we're going to do the most fun part, which is finding out which mods are the ones that are going to work with this November 2021 Call of the Wild version. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder called November 2021 mods. Then I'm gonna go here to the Hunter Call of the Wild Nexus community. And we're gonna get some mods. Now we're gonna to go to this one here, which is my friend's Bethesda's mods. He's the one that's created one of the best mods for this game. We're gonna click. So we're gonna search on the files. So this mod, this version is November 2021. So we gotta get something like about December, which will be here on the top. We have a impressive standard, extended render distance, which probably will make it to 768 yards, and we have maxed out. So we're gonna get, download these for now, and then we'll come back and we'll get some other mods. So I have a, downloaded a whole bunch of mods, and I believe all these are going to work with the version that we have now. We're gonna try a couple of these by themselves and see if it works, and if they do, then we'll put them together and we'll do something else. But the first thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna create another folder. We're gonna name it XXX, triple X. Open it up, put it to the side. <coughs> the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the Raven Outpost Unlocker and we're gonna extract it here. Okay, and now once we have all these here, we're gonna go to the Documents folder where we have the Avalanche Studios. We're gonna open up 
the Avalanche Studios folder, CLTW saves the big number. And we're gonna replace these with these ones here. So let's see, we have delete one, two, three, four, five, da, 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 12. Delete this. And we're gonna get 12 from here. One, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're gonna drag them over here. Then we're gonna get collectibles, collectibles ADF. Take this one out of here. We wanna get collectibles over here. Okay, did we get collectibles? Yes, we did. So now we're gonna get a font icon zero. One, two, three, let me see. 12, because there are 12 uh, maps. I wanna delete this from here. And we're gonna get the 12 from here. And we're gonna transfer them over to here. Now we're gonna close this again and we're gonna start the game again and hopefully it will work. We'll see. times when you want to be moving fast out here now let me look at the map to see if hunt. all the things are open the animals will hear you coming a mile away oh yes they are here they are here they are all the outposts are here are here here they are all the other thing all the icons are already opened all the outposts fantastic so the only thing is we got to open these if we want to let me see from the other maps, it's the same thing. Let's go to the other maps. Select preserve, let's go to uh, the Savannah map. Because it's Welcome going through home. the game again, the beginning, so I know we're going to stop on this and remember. then we'll come back again. We've so I'm looking here and everything is open luck, here. Uh, all the outposts are, are all open. One rhino are gone. All the other things are open. If we lose open. more animals, the state could shut us down. Fantastic. See? I'm not about to hand the keys to my office to just okay. anyone. All I want right. to keep the role of senior so warden in my tribe. working so far. Okay, so we found out that this one is working. So we're gonna bring this one back again. And we're gonna do five times the amount of animals. We want the park to fill up with animals all over the place. We're gonna get a impressive spawns. So we'll get all the diamonds that we want. And uh, these ones are gonna go, in, it's gonna uh, come down. They wanna open drop zones folders, okay? Now, let's see. Uh, what else can we get from this side here? Extended render distance. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's find out if this one's going to work. I, I'm not that sure for now. Uh, let's get extended render distance. And let's open all, all of these. Okay, so we're going to extract it here. It's going to create a drop zone folder. We're going to get the second one extracted here. So this one went inside here. Now we're going to open this one. This one is the one that I'm not that much sure about. Extract here. So yes to all. Okay, so let's see how it went. Let's see how it went. It went settings, animals, type bins. This one was impressive animals. Impressive spawns, extended animal render distance. That's the one I'm, think, I'm kind of doubt about. Extended. I don't know if it went through or not. We'll see. So we'll go back to the game out now again. If not, we'll remove it. So you gotta try all these, you know, the ones that you think are, may work or may not work. We gotta try them one at a time and see what happens.
Stretch your legs and run like Homgonyi. He seems that it's working. Let the whole bush hear you stampede. An error. Uh, you must have had a long time accommodating thanks to your handiwork. Well, let's work. stretch your legs with Thank some you basics. for fixing the place, Grand You can finish child. these in any order you like. You've still got those other jobs to do, right? Okay, Don't so slack. we'll stop the game here. I'd okay, so once we're here, we have level 458. I guess I shot something I didn't know about it. Level 1. And we need to get more money. So we're going to go get the Wii Mod trainer. Which is this one here and we gotta find from the history here which one is the one that is gonna work right now because if I choose the latest one and I press play the latest one is not gonna work because this uh, uh, version was back in November 2021 so we gotta get the version from the history that was in November Oh, after November actually so 21 21 so here we are November 20 26 now we get this one this one is gonna work okay the one that says uh, let me see actually we're gonna get this one here yeah this one I think it might work October November let's get the one after in after november which is this one here i think we'll be safe by getting this one here Look, we'll try it and we'll put play and see if it works Okay, so this one seems to be working okay, and I don't need none of this, so I'm gonna take this out for now. And this one here, we're gonna get money at 100k uh, cash by pressing F6. Here you go, right here. We're gonna get about what? Three million? You think three million be enough? Yeah, there we go. Okay, three million. Level one. We're gonna get a level sixty. Level. What's the level thing? Add one level. F eight. Sixty. XP. We need about two hundred and thirty-nine, two hundred and forty thousand XP. Add one XP. F seven. Perk points, we need, let me get, I think, about 30, 40, maybe we'll get 40. Perk points, skill points, F9 and F10. And F10. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and this is the way that you can download and put whatever version of the game that you want to do and some some of these versions will work with some of these mods like i said and some may not so that's something for you to find out good luck bye bye